Well, the sun is uh, just about to dip below the horizon there. It's about 8.30 at night, early May. Trying to get the last field plowed before we start drilling, seeding, whatever. This is a 90 acre field that very disappointing hay crops the last two years. So I got the four fur plow on the little tractor there, the T6160. Just got off for five minutes to stretch my legs. I'll be at it for a couple of hours more. Uh, won't get it done tonight, but I want to get it finished before lunchtime tomorrow. It's very dry. Started off plowing this field and the headland was absolutely sopping wet. There's a lot of wet patches around the headland, so I plowed it round and round for a while. And now I'm plowing the middle up and down. This field is, uh, you can't really see it, but it's kind of like an upturned saucer. So it's higher in the middle and lower at the edges. So the middle is dry, the outside is wet. Um, yeah, you can you can see the alfalfa there in the bottom. Very, very thin. And then as you as you look up, the green patch there is quite grass. In the middle there, that uh, long grass is uh, is a wet patch that didn't didn't get cut for hay last year because it's too wet and bumpy. There's another piece over there. Wet all along that headland, which is the south headland. Anyway, we just jumped off for five minutes. Me and my... Uh, where is she? Me and my trusty plowing dog, Sally, who's quite got the hang of plowing. But we have to get off every hour or hour and a half and play. Don't we, Sal? What are we going to do? We're going to throw this? We're going to throw this? What is it? Off you go. You're going to scrag it? Scrag it. Scrag it. Go on. You're going to scrag it? Ah, that's all right. That's all right. It's a rat for the long time. <laughs> anyway, she's having a good time. She gets really bored when we're plowing. Falls to sleep on the tractor cab floor. Anyway, one worrying aspect of all this dry weather is this. If you can see that. That is a wildfire, a, bu a brush, brush fire, burning way to the northeast. This one has been burning all afternoon. Quiet, Sally. This, excuse me, this one's been burning all afternoon, but I'll notice over here another one has started up. <laughs> so, not a good sign. Hang on, I gotta throw this. Very excited dog. <coughs> yeah, so it's kind of worrying. We had them off to the uh, southwest over there. They've been burning for a few days. I think they are out. I saw some large planes circling about an hour ago. So I think they were just checking for. Uh, or any remaining small fires. <coughs> I haven't seen any planes up and around that one, but while that one is quite a distance off, I'm not really sure. But uh, anyway, it's very worrying. Uh, that all these fires are springing up. We haven't had any thunder and lightning, so I'm presuming that they're man started by man humans. Anyway, cigarette out of a truck window or something like that causes all this nonsense and anguish and 
property damage. But anyway, um, hoping they don't come this way. The wind has started to die down a little. And we've been promised a bit of rain for the weekend, but it's still not quite midweek. So uh, <coughs> we're hoping for a bit of moisture. It's quite cloudy. That is actually a cloud. Although there is a bit of smoke in it. Um, we are, I'm hoping that uh, we get a bit of moisture. We had quite a heavy dew last night, so that's a good sign. But uh, an inch or so of rain would be uh, very, very welcome now. So anyway, there we are, northern BC, early May, getting the final field plowed. Uh, just getting ready to start seeding on time this year, thank goodness. <laughs> anyway, there we are. It's good night from him, and it's good night from Sally, the tractor dog, who's um, very engrossed in her toy, She's trying to rip it to pieces. Take care of one another, and behave yourselves. See you next time. Bye-bye.